Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, we're back at it, ready to dive into the 2022 Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. Woo! <laughs> so this is my number one rye whiskey of 2021, right? I, and I love this bottle, right? You guys know I'm a huge Michter's fan as a whole. And I, I mean, honestly, I love the 2021 version. So really excited to dive into the 2022 release. A uh, huge shout out, by the way, to Mictors. Thanks for the uh, sample. Really appreciate it. So I'm wondering a couple of things. Number one, is it equally as good as 2021? Is it better, right? You never know. Um, how much do they differ? That's the second point. So we shall see. But I mean, honestly, coming off of last year's, wow. There's a lot to see whether or not if it's as good as last year if not better. Um, I will say though, and it's funny because it was my number one rye whiskey of 2021. Um, one that I didn't try until after was the old Forester barrel strength rye, this bad boy here. And a lot of people said, hey, Bourbon Judge, you need to try the old Forester barrel strength rye. It's equally, if not better. And a lot of uh, mixes call reviews regarding the old Forester barrel strength rye in terms of mixed reviews in terms of being better than the Mictors. For me personally, I actually do love that old Forester barrel strength rye, but I still, for me, right, I still will stick with Mictors. I love just the Mictors Barrel Strength Rye, really Mictors products as a whole. Um, and I think this is just, from my personal palate, this hits the uh, the home run. At least the 2021 did in all the other releases as well. But now we're at it, 2022 is here. This just came out in March. So just, I mean, literally last month, like almost like a month ago on the dot, MSRP, $100. Um, also, you have it where, so it just came out, obviously, very high allocations. But I will say, you can actually, you truly can find it. If you put some work into it, maybe uh, reach out to your local store connections and so forth, you absolutely can find the Mictors Barrel Strength Rye. But it will take some hunting. It will take some store connections. It's not going to be just readily and easily on the shelf. But you definitely can find it. That is for sure. I found mine last year, actually, by just going out and actually, no no hookup at all. I actually, actually did find it, actually, oddly up on the shelf. Um, but this year, again, the sample from uh, Mictors came to me. So let me go ahead and pour both of these. So I'm going to pour both of these bad boys. And I'm going to uh, just kind of compare 2022 versus 21. I will say that uh, Andrea Wilson and uh, Dan McKee. So Dan is the master uh, distiller over at uh, Mictors. And Andrea Wilson is the master of maturation. Uh, they have honestly, they've just been truly just hitting home run after home run. They always knock it out the park. Everything that Mictors does is always fantastic. I mean, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a bad bottle of Victor's. I mean, I really haven't. So I'm pretty sure 20, 2022's release is equally as good. I just wonder, is it better? I mean, it's hard to come off of this one. This is my number one. Woo! <laughs> Andrea and Dan, hopefully uh, we have another home run here. Last thing, from a proof standpoint. So as a whole, I think the average proof is like 111.6 proof for uh, the majority of the different bottles that they put out there. My bottle in particular that they sent to me is 109.2 proof. So yeah, 109.2 proof. So again, it's going to vary by the barrel and so forth. But uh, the one that I have is 109.2. But again, the average proof of the various different um, Mictors barrel strength uh, rise that they put out there is 111.6. All right. I'm going to start actually with the 2021 and then I'll get into 2022. Cool? All right, let's dive into it real quick. So from a nose standpoint, what I loved about the 21 release, I always felt it was like a really good combination of being very, let's call it a traditional rye but it's always cut by the, so you have like the spiciness like from the pepper, the mint, uh, very earthy, but it's also cut by the, you know, Mictures always does a fantastic job of, um, and the reason why I love this bottle as a whole, because they toast all their barrels and they, I mean, they're known for really toasting their barrels and they are the experts at toasting their barrels. Um, I love the fact that this one was a great combination of being sweet and spicy. Sweet meaning like, you know, the traditional marshmallow, cinnamon, uh, the whole graham cracker kind of uh, campfire experience, but then also a really good blend of that, but also coming together with the, the rye whiskey. That's the reason why I really love this bottle. Let's dive into this bad boy. Oh gosh, this is so nice on the nose. 
Gosh, you still get a lot of like the traditional rye, black pepper, the mint, but it's definitely folded in very nicely. And I mean, really nice with like that campfire, s'mores, graham cracker, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of, um, man, a little bit of vanilla. Very nice. Cheers, everyone out there. Wow. That still does not disappoint. That is just an overall, I mean, and look at the legs on that. That is so sexy. Oh my gosh. Hopefully I can scan in close. That is so nice. That is such a great experience from the start to the finish. What I love about it. Again, everything that I said before, the sweetness from the toasty on the barrels, uh, all the graham cracker, the whole s'more effect, blend it in with that pepper. From the nose to the palate, all the way to the finish. It's bold and robust, but it doesn't also knock you down at the same point, right? That's what I love about the Mictor's Barrel Strength Rye. That, and it does sip, sip very similar to a, a bourbon, even though it's a barrel strength rye. It does sip very much closer to a bourbon. It really does. It's just almost, it's almost like a, in my opinion, it's almost like a high rye bourbon, um, at least from an experience of sipping it. But technically, it is a barrel strength. It is a rye. All right, let's get over to 2022. And then I would do the final comparison and then uh, confirm if this is a buy or maybe not. You never know. All right. Three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know. Is this something that you're looking to hunt for? If you've had it already, what are your thoughts? And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I produce brand new content. Cool? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, let me get into the nose real quick. Mmm. Slightly different here. That was very sweet in the nose. This in the nose is not as sweet. It's actually a bit more peppery, a bit more earthy, a bit more of a like mint notes to it. So the nose of this of the 2021 was much more similar to like the nose of a bourbon. The nose of this bad boy is definitely a lot more more bold much more of a traditional rye nose but you still do have again because the, the way they toast their barrels they're very you know very much like experts in it it the, the nose still does have like a lot of like the uh the campfire experience but just not as much like graham crackers cinnamon and chocolate in the nose much more pepper more mint yeah a lot more actually all right hey real quick friends Cheers to each and every one of you out there. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Cheers to each and every one of you. Wow. Ooh. Wow. 109.2. 109.2 proof. Wow. That's a lot more bold than that one. Very robust as a whole in the palate. Damn. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a key difference. So let me first um, just explain, is this the buy or do not buy and so forth. So absolutely, that is amazing. Another, not even a home run, that's a damn grand slam. That is a fantastic bottle. Absolutely worth the MSRP, $100. I would actually probably pay up to like $175 for this bad boy. That's fantastic. Here's why it's similar but yet different than 2021. It's similar because it's still, of course, you have like the traditional, with almost any mixers products that you have because they toast their barrels so well, it still has that traditional like campfire, like graham cracker, some chocolate, some cinnamon, some caramel kind of blended in. But why I like this, I might actually like it, damn, even more than that one. Why? It's a lot more bold than 2021. This sips much closer to a traditional barrel strength rye that sips much more like a rye, but with that graham cracker experience kind of all blended in together. Way more bold than last year. That's extremely bold. 
the palette very long long finish still i still feel it even now uh especially for a 109.2 proof it probably sips closer to like 115 almost even 120 that is damn near perfect <laughs> and i mean perfect andrea and dan love it love it love it folks if you are on the hunt this is absolutely probably the best bottle i think i may have had thus far in 2022 absolutely an amazing product and i mean flat out amazing at least in my top five for sure of 2022 so far this is a high contender of being number one again we'll see what the rest of the year has to offer you never know hey until the next time peace cheers salute appreciate each and every one of you later